the web more than ever these days. Whether it be playing games, downloading apps or buying clothes. But somewhere, someone sat down and actually created that website. Sites like Facebook, Amazon, even apps like Instagram and Snapchat all started with one person sitting at a computer. Now, you don't need to be a computer genius to know there are a lot of websites out there and people get paid to make them. Today, we've come to see Bernard Cheer from Alica to find out what it takes to be a web designer. Bernard. Yes. Oh, yeah. Good, mate. Look, I want to find out what it's like to be a web designer. All right, come on in. Cool. Jesse, what do you want to know? Well, mate, I want to learn a bit more about your job, starting with what does a typical day look like? Typically, what I do is right, catch up with clients, work out the um, kind of requirements they want for their website, and the first point is doing a wireframe of how everything fits together so that I know exactly what elements they want on their website. From there, I run a Photoshop and I do actual design, and then, yeah, we just go through the motions of making sure it's all been approved, back and forth until they like it, and from there, we build a website. And so why did you want to be a web designer? Far out, like, started like 15 years ago, man, when I used to design <laughs> websites for, uh, for gaming companies. You yeah. That's my passion, man, and we want a place where all my mates can all come in and discuss about how we kick each other's ass in games. <laughs> so that's how it started. I mean, you got into it when you were 15. What if you're a bit older? Can you still get into the industry? Absolutely. This industry, you don't have any, you don't have any ex expiry dates. Like one of the guys, uh, one of my colleagues, he's like 50 plus. He's a UX designer, user interface designer, and user experience. That's the best part. And with that age group, you have better attention to detail. You've got the experience. He's ticking all the boxes right now. So I would say any age group, yeah, it's no, no problem. I mean, is there much work out there for a web designer at the moment? Whew, man, every business needs a website. It's the main medium to get your message across people these days. Definitely a lot of careers and, and opportunities out there for websites. These days, we don't just do a website. We make sure it looks great for mobiles, with tablets, um, it becomes more interactive, you can do more cooler stuff. So it's always exciting. So Bernard, what's the hardest part of the job? Probably the hardest part is like pleasing all clients. Some clients may want like certain designs a specific way, even though they hired me to design it for them. And so what's the most rewarding part of the job? Like, what brings you to work every day? Ah, the fact that like um, every client or every new design is different. You know, you get different industries, you won't get the same old boring, um, you can pick an industry like the painting website, for example. You can get an entertainment website based, you can get a lifestyle website based website, you can get a celebrity now and then as well. It's pretty fun. And so what, would, what piece of advice would you give someone wanting to move into your field? Ah, I think the best way right, to move into the web design space is to uh, create somehow their online portfolio, showcase a couple of their best work, not too many, just a couple of their best work, showcase nice little animation tricks, demonstrate a bit of search engine optimization as well, and a bit of forms, online marketing, and that's the best way that that person can get into the web design industry and get picked, picked on for doing work. So what characteristics does someone need to get into your field? Creative, mm -hmm. all right. Be able to have good attention to detail, you to make sure you are prone to want to learn new stuff all the time. It's an ever-changing kind of industry. Mm -hmm. um, you have passion for change. With all this, man, you, you'll be all right. Okay, from school to now, what are the steps that you took to get to where you are today? Remarkably, what I've done is like I've self-taught a lot of these things, and you'll find that online these days, you can do like self-teach Photoshop kind of work, self-teach HTML, CSS, and all you have to do is go online and Google up how to learn these things. And from there, just create your own projects, do yourself a personal website, do something for your family and friends. And from there, you build yourself a portfolio and you just grow and grow and grow from there. There's no better way than look at what's out there, check out the code behind them, and then just copy, paste, and learn and modify for your own website. And so if you could get to where you are today, but have done one thing differently, what would that have been? A lot of things, um, but the main thing I would do differently is probably how I program stuff. I'm pretty um, stubborn in a lot of ways. The stuff I've learned ages ago, I've, I kept using the same principles, and they're not the most efficient. So there's certain things that you could adopt earlier, and in hindsight, I should have done in the past. So just finding out new technologies and just being ahead of the industry. That's right. That's right. And it's back to um, yeah, what I really, really believe in is like um, be able to learn, be teachable, and just make sure you always jump onto new technologies early. Yeah. Awesome, well thanks so much for talking to us today, Bernard. And uh, I reckon we have a game of foosball. All right, you ready to lose? <laughs> You're on. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, and that's how you lose by 10 goals. For more information and to get involved, hit up studentedge.com.au. We're going again, I'm winning one. Just one. <laughs>